Now, see your simple pendulum. You can do this experiment in your lab also. So, we have to calculate, calculate here time period of simple pendulum. Suppose, this is the suspension point here or the rigid support and a thread is taken of length suppose L and there is a bob here of mass m, this is equilibrium position. When this pendulum is displaced to this position here by angle theta and the weight is acting here downside here vertically downward and tension T is acting to this side this angle theta. So, we can also take this is theta. So, it is here m g cos theta and this side is here m g sin theta. Now, see here this m g or the weight has got two components m g cos theta which is balancing the tension actually providing centripetal force and here m g sin theta towards mean position. Because of this m g sin theta, pendulum tries to come to the mean position. This force is known as restoring force. So, now we can calculate the total torque on this pendulum. So, the total length is this L. So, we can also write here the perpendicular distance from here to here, this is theta. So, this perpendicular, this is the point about which the pendulum rotates. So, the perpendicular distance between the axis of rotation and the line of action is here L sin theta. So, we can write restoring torque is equal to minus m g L sin theta, because this torque tries to bring the body towards mean position. So, L sin theta is a perpendicular distance from the axis of uh, rotation and line of action of the force. So, the torque is equal to minus m g cos theta for a small angle for small angle we can write sin theta is equal to theta. So, the torque is equal to minus m g l theta this is the restoring torque. We also know torque is equal to moment of inertia into angular acceleration. So, we can write here I alpha is equal to minus m g l theta. So, we can write alpha is equal to minus m g l upon i theta. There is a condition for simple harmonic angular simple harmonic motion that is called alpha is equal to minus omega square theta. It means this omega square is equal to this. So, we can write here omega square is equal to m g l upon i. So, now we can calculate the time period by using this. So, here we will be getting omega is equal to m g l. So, we can write here omega is equal to under root of m g l upon i and we can write here 2 pi upon t is equal to under root of m g l upon i can be written m l square. So, m m cancel and this l cancel. So, 1 L is here. So, we can write here T is equal to 2 pi under root of L upon G, where L is the length of the pendulum G is acceleration due to gravity. So, we can get the formula for the time period using the concept of angular simple harmonic motion. We can also get this one by using the concept of linear simple harmonic motion. If you have got now time period, you can also calculate frequency. So, you will be getting frequency is equal to nu is equal to 1 upon 2 pi under root of g upon l.